In this episode, we travel from Croatia to Bosnia and Herzegovina. How far is your school from here? Very far. Hi, this is Trent. If this is your first time to watch our video, please subscribe our channel by clicking the button below. Thank you so much for your support. After breakfast this morning, we'll visit Salona ruins first, then drive south to our next stop, Dubrovnik of Croatia, and have a tour at the old town. The total travel distance is about 240 kilometers. Our hotel is just about two minutes walk to Salona ruins. If we go back 1800 years, we would be in the center of the prosperous capital city Salona in the province of Dalmatia in Roman Empire. We can see the ancient Roman style city walls, amphitheater and bathhouses in its original states. Maybe you can join 18,000 spectators to watch the gladiator to fight in the center of an amphitheater. Or witness the execution of Christian martyrs such as St. Dominus before the discriminalization of Christianity. If you are a fan of ancient Roman Empire history, this is a place you should visit. Normally, this ruins is not a top attraction for tourists. That's why it's very nice and quiet here. Salona was established around the 3rd century BC and became a major center of trade, culture, and administration in the Roman Empire. This ancient city is also the birthplace of a Roman emperor, Diocletian. But after Diocletian retired, he built his palace in current location in Split. Sanona's capacity for military defense declined gradually. In 7th century, the invasion from enemies such as Avars and Slavs eventually led the city to be abandoned. After one hour in the ruins, we finished our tour and back on the road to Dubrovnik. It was raining most of the time when we were on a trip to Dubrovnik. We saw some vending booths along the road when we passed some local villages and decided to make a stop and see what are they offering. That's really nice. What do you got? Fix? Oh yeah, you got an apple. We passed the beautiful bridge across the inner street and later our tour guide told us that it was built by a Chinese company and it only took two years to finish. He was amazed by their construction speed. Our tour at the old city of Dubrovnik started from the Pile Gate. We walked along the main street of the old city. The medieval buildings along the street are very beautiful. After the TV series Game of Thrones aired since 2011, this old city became internationally famous because it was the main filming location. Our tour guide even played a soldier in the TV series. He showed me his picture in the TV show, very handsome. Pierre Gaubre's drawing is his arm, so we can see sometimes of his painting 
The Church of San Plaza is a Baroque church in Dubrovnik and one of the city's major sites. It was built in 1715 by the Venetian architect and sculptor Marino. The interior of the church is richly decorated in Baroque style. The majestic ceiling imposes a sense of reverence immediately after you step inside. Every time when I visit a church, I always look up first, because mostly I'll find the elegant decorations up there. The city of Dubrovnik was listed as the World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979 because its outstanding medieval architecture and fortified old town. The history of this city is about 1300 years. Now it has a population around 42,000. After a short tour inside the church, we arrived at the Ploche Gate, which is one of the two most famous gates in this old town. We took a lot of pictures at this gate. It is a very picturesque spot. Our hotel, Five Star Royal Blue, can be an ideal vacation spot by Adriatic Sea. The hotel itself is gorgeous. The ceiling to floor window in the lobby offered a stunning view of the sea. We picked one of the three restaurants in this hotel, the Royal Terrace, for our dinner. Dining with the view of the sea is a delightful experience. I don't remember when I started to like taking pictures of food, but I think it's a good thing to do, as it will help me to remember what food I ate on the trip and how was the food. But it's not good to look at this picture now because it makes me so hungry. After the meal, we got back to our rooms. The rooms are spacious and the beds are comfy. Day 10 of our trip has begun. The morning buffet breakfast is my favorite at hotels. I'm so lucky that I always have very good appetite in the morning, so I can fully enjoy the taste of food they offer. We have a pastry here, croissant, muffin, cake, different kinds different yogurt Ooh, how many cooked vegetable that's my protein and vegetable this morning and got cappuccino and fruits Uh, some little taste of oatmeal. Mm. Creamy. And this bean. Let's see. Very good. Very good. Before leaving Dubrovnik, I took a little walk along the shore of the sea in this hotel. 
The view is amazing. We met the manager of this hotel, and he's from Port Credit in Ontario, Canada. It was so nice. We met a Canadian in Dubrovnik. Our itinerary today is from Dubrovnik of Croatia to Pochitali of Bosnia and Herzegovina, and pass by famous town Mostar, and arrive at Sarajevo, the capital city of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Total travel distance is about 280 kilometers. On our way to Bosnia, from Croatia on the road. Upon arrival at the Pachitli, the first host to welcome us is a pretty cat, but he just left us without saying a single word. Hello, <laughs> Hello cat. Oh, she's pretty. Come here. Be careful. Somebody just live here, that's their home, look. is a historical town at the left bank of the river Neretva. It is best preserved old town in the region. We got a sunshine, how good is that? Look at the dome, mosque. The view from the top of the town is fantastic. That's why it became one of the most visited attractions in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Several kings from 1400 to 1800 in the past fortified this town, but it was seriously damaged during the war from 1992 to 1995. What makes this area so beautiful? I think the river Neretva is a key factor because it's beautiful color. It reminds me of the Socha River in Slovenia. This river is also a major drinking water source for the people in both Croatia and Bosnia. Now we're very close to the top of this fortress. From the holes on the wall, I can imagine how the soldiers control the major trading route in the valley of Neretva 700 years ago. Our outdoor lunch at the bottom of this town is delicious. The restaurant here must have a very good chef. Another good thing comes with this lunch is the first sunshine of the day. It feels incredibly pleasant. And the sun. And the sun. First day in 10 days. Thank you, thank you, ever thank you for the sun. Cheers, cheers. 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 Mostar is only 30 kilometers north of Pochitli, the ancient capital of Herzegovina. One of the most famous landmarks of this country is the old bridge in this city because it is a model piece of Islamic architecture in Balkans, which is also the reason it was listed as a UNESCO heritage site in 2005. Sadly, the old bridge was destroyed during the Bosnian War and was rebuilt after 1995. The project was completed in 2004. Another reason made this bridge famous is the World Cliff Diving Event, which had set diving platform on this bridge for eight times in the past. The most recent one is on September 9th in 2023. Oh, that's even better. Look at this color of the river. That's uh, amazing, amazing.
This is called the Open Air Museum. It's in memory of the, those people who fought in World War II in 1943 between March 1 to March 7. We also made a stop at the Japlanicha Open Air Museum, which is dedicated to the battle for the wounded in World War II. The bridge falling in the river has become a symbol of the museum. Later, we arrived at our hotel, the Riden Plaza Hotel in Sarajevo. This hotel is built on the site of a former newspaper building, which was destroyed during the Bosnian War and demolished after the war. In the lobby of the hotel, we can have a glimpse of the sad history of Sarajevo through the pictures of the hotel construction process. Here, this is the hotel, how it was rebuilt after the bomb. Our dinner tonight is at the revolving restaurant of this hotel, which is 70 meters above ground level. The night view of the city is not the most brilliant, but it is enough to motivate us to sing a song. Here are the pictures of the dinner tonight. I still remember how tasty the creamy mushroom soup was. Is this wine? First time? Mm -hmm. Very good. You got lots of first. Mm. No, that was very good. And also in this restaurant. We're moving. Yeah, we're moving. Slowly. Slowly. Another day, another wonderful breakfast. After that, we head to the old city of Sarajevo. Our tour started from the big logo of Sarajevo in front of the city hall. Here we come! The most significant place in this town, in my opinion, is the location where the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria took place, an event that triggered the World War I. This place is just basically the, the point the World War I was triggered. So this couple were murdered, assassinated, right here on this spot. The replica of the car they're riding in when they were killed is displayed on the spot. Sarajevo is often referred as Jerusalem of Europe because of its historical and cultural diversity. The major ethnic groups in the city include Muslims, Croats and Serbs. As the capital city of Bosnia and Herzegovina, its population is around 350,000, which is most populous in the country. I was also amazed by the religious buildings in this old town. The only missing one is a Buddhism temple. We saw synagogues, Orthodox churches, mosques, and the cathedrals.
Bastar Sisha is Sarajevo's oldest neighborhood. It has been a bazaar since the times of the Ottoman Empire. It's fun to see those shiny metal crafts. Out of many religious building complexes in the old city, we picked the most famous Ghazi Husrev Beg Mosque to visit. It is the largest historical mosque in Bosnia and Herzegovina and was built around 500 years ago. The mosque is one of the most representative Ottoman structures in the Balkans. This is the first bath in Europe built in Ottoman Empire for men. Our lunchtime came late at 3 p.m. The local famous restaurant Pod Lipom was introduced by our guide. Former U.S. President Bill Clinton came here twice. So what's the restaurant's name? Uh, the the name of restaurant is under the Lipon tree. Oh, okay. So because so yeah, this on this yeah here this wall yeah. was a very big, 120 years old Lipon tree. Oh, very really? Big, like a house. During the, the war. Uh, the granite name from aggressors uh, hit the the lipon tree yeah. and after after the war uh, we have to cut it because of uh, of that the and, tree is damaged right? and uh, we we gave uh, the name of restaurant uh, as a memory name our restaurant tour finished now let's taste some of the traditional Bosnian dishes. The food offered by this restaurant is wonderful. Sarajevo is a beautiful city surrounded by mountains. Later, we drive southeast toward Mount Trenkovic near Pinot Nature Hotel, where we concluded our trip with a panorama view of the city. Goodbye, Sarajevo, and goodbye, Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'll be back. watching our video today. Please don't forget to subscribe our channel. I'll see you next time.